Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get a pair of legendary pieces of armor. That's right. This is going to be one of the craziest videos I've ever done because the armor and reward we're going to be getting at the end of this video is the free fall armor for your legs, which totally prevents falling damage. This is so cool. So this is some sick legendary armor, probably the rarest in the game, if maybe one of the hardest to get in the game. And I'm going to be showing you guys how it's done in this video. All right. So before we start, there are a few prerequisites that you need before you can actually get this. One of them is a suit of power armor with the jetpack attachment. Now, this might come as a challenge because the jetpack does need lots of things before you can actually apply it uh, to the power armor itself. I think you need a science of rank four and an armor of rank four as well. So again, if you don't have a jetpack, that this is going to be unobtainable because this is really in a location that is almost nearly impossible to get to. I don't know how Bethesda wanted us to discover this. That's why I consider it so rare and so hard to find because you need a jetpack and you also need to unlock the mass fusion building, which is kind of in between Good Neighbor uh, and Pikmin's Gallery. It's shown on the map right there. All right, so I'm actually going to be starting at the bottom. I believe that's the only way to get into the mass fusion building outside of the campaign. And basically, you're going to need to look for two elevators. One of them will get you to about the fifth floor, and the other one will get you to about the 11th floor. And once you get to the 11th floor, you're going to run out of elevator in order to get you up to the highest possible point. Now, this is where your jetpack is going to come in handy. Your jetpack is going to allow you to kind of jump onto all of the broken pieces of platform in the mass fusion building. And that's what you're going to do essentially until you can't do it anymore. You're just going to jump from piece to piece until you get to the very top or at least the maximum point of where your jetpack will get you. All right, so once you've gotten to this location right here, this is actually going to be the highest point you can get using the jetpack and landing on these platforms. Now, I also should suggest that quick saving is going to be your best friend here. Obviously, because if you fall, you don't want to have to do the entire thing over again. So quick saving, once again, is going to be your friend. And I also recommend having two items. One of them is a Nuka-Cola Quantum, and the other one is something like Buff Out or Buff Jet. I'll explain why those are important in a little bit. So basically, you're going to want to stand on this railing right here. And what you want to do is jump up into the corner using the jetpack and kind of get yourself lodged or stuck in the corner. For whatever reason, in the power armor, you can kind of get stuck in the corner and it will temporarily allow your action points to regenerate or you can use one of the Nuka-Cola Quantums or the buff jets to slow down time and regenerate some action points. So you kind of want to sit there, stutter a little bit, wait till your action points get back up to 100%, then use the jetpack again where you'll actually get into this room up here on the wall. Now, don't be discouraged if it takes you a few tries. It definitely took me about 10 or 15 before I got this right 100% of the time. Once you get up there, there's going to be a fusion core, so take that. And also, take this opportunity to quick save because we're not done yet. We've still got one more part to go. And from there, we want to do something fairly similarly, although it's a little bit easier. We essentially want to jump from the corner we're in right now to the other corner. And we're going to be using the exact same technique of jumping into the corner, kind of getting stuck, using our buff jet and our Nuka-Cola Quantum to slow down time and regenerate our action points, kind of back away from the wall a little bit, use the jetpack, and boost all the way up, getting to the top. So ultimately, it wasn't too hard. I didn't have to use all of my action points, which was kind of convenient. And you'll find yourself up in this room right here. This room doesn't have much, but what it does have is a safe with a novice lock. So make sure you've got a few bobby pins on you and unlock the safe. And inside, you'll find two pieces of legendary armor, the free fall armor left leg and the free fall armor right leg. The left leg having a value of 120 with a damage resistance of 10 and a fusion damage resistance of 8 and the right one being a little bit more powerful with the damage of resistance of 14 and 12 respectively with a value of 205. Their weights are also different as well by about five pounds. So this is really awesome. I wanted to see what this piece of armor looks like and you can see on my character right now, I think it's the right leg that actually has more to it. So like it looks physically more impressive 
compressive on the right leg than it does the left. That would obviously explain the higher value and the higher weight, but still, it looks pretty cool. It's a very simple piece of armor. And there's also a few mods you can do to this as well to make it a little better if you want. Although I don't really have any of the armor perks, so I wouldn't really be able to upgrade any of that armor. But still, you can do some pretty cool things like make it lighter, make it more pocketed, cushioned, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, probably the moment you've all been waiting for, I wanted to test this out. So I went up to the Pridwin, a best location I could possibly think to do some sort of free fall. And my first test right here is obviously with the free fall armor equipped. You can see I drop to the ground and receive no falling damage. How awesome is that? That is such a cool perk. And then I decided to try it with obviously the armor not attached. And as you can expect, I hit the ground and splat, we are dead. So I definitely recommend this armor. It is awesome. Give it a try. It is so cool. Again, the only prerequisites you need are a jetpack and also the mass fusion building unlocked. Hopefully this tutorial and guide was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to leave a like rating on the video. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Fallout 4 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.